I came to the States uh, with, a, with a British real estate development and construction company called Waits Limited, W-A-T-E-S. They had a joint venture with the Rouse Company, who were the developers of Columbia, amongst other things. Uh, they formed a joint venture company called Rouse Waits, and I was invited to come as a part of the management of that company. I was 25. And uh, so uh, came over. I, uh, having grown up in construction, my grandfather was a Scottish stonemason. Um, and I'd worked in the, the, the London building industry uh, by that time for seven years. I worked and went to school at the same time. So I came uh, to work for the Rouse Company, or this subdivision, uh, sub subsidiary, excuse me. And uh, we inherited the management of all of the apartments in Columbia. And the Harkins Company had built them all. Which reminds me, I don't see Concord House on here. Is that on the list? It should be. Okay, because Concord um, House is a mid-rise in Wild Lake Village, which which uh, was would have been finished in yeah, 70. Yeah, I, I recognize that name. Mm -hmm. uh, no, excuse me, would have been finished in probably 70. So, uh, as a part of my orientation, uh, I, I worked both in the management office in Columbia and then subsequently in the management office at the village of Cross Keys. I'd never done anything like that before. It was a great experience. I worked in the leasing center in Columbia, which at that time was in uh, the exhibit center down by Lake Kittimore Crombie. And um, one of the things I had to do was uh, look after, to some extent, inspect, solve problems in the apartments. And of course, as with any construction, uh, you know, we had our management maintenance problems. So, in 1970, I met Tom Harkins for the first time, and uh, I was this irate and uh, and volatile young man, uh, ranting and raving, and uh, Tom was completely unaffected. He was uh, he was completely cool, calm, and collected. He didn't respond or rise or to my. Uh, irritability in any way and uh, and just handled the situation with complete aplomb and I, I remember thinking then and I think now he was probably the coolest person I ever met <laughs> absolutely I, I was telling Dick that you know I was probably in awe of Tom Harkins he, he wasn't that type of a person he certainly wouldn't want you to be in awe of him but he was such an extraordinary presence uh, that that's how I felt about him. And uh, a couple of years later, as the Rouse Waits joint venture was winding down, and I had intended to stay in America, come to stay. Um, and so I talked to Jim Humphreys and Tom Harkins, and they said, well, why don't you come and join our company? And I did. 